Today we've had just a fantastic turnout here with all kinds of patriots coming from all over the country, standing up for freedom, saying they don't want socialized medicine, saying they don't want trillions of dollars of new taxes, deficits, debts, and government bureaucrats regulating our health care. Uh, this is a fantastic rally. Uh, we've had all kinds of contacts with constituents that have visited, and we're very encouraged, hoping uh, that this will be a good step towards stopping the takeover of one-sixth of the U.S. economy by the federal government. Many of us are going to vote no. We need a lot of help, and uh, people are going now to talk to their congressmen. It's been a fantastic rally, very well organized. I'm thankful to have been a part of it. Good. Uh, you came here from Pennsylvania, is that correct? Yes. And uh, when did you first hear about the fact there was going to be a gathering here on uh, Thursday? Uh, Monday, I think. And Monday, I first drive away. Yeah, four and a half. Actually, four and a half. That's still is a good haul. I'm from St. Louis, and uh, we had some people coming 18-hour uh, drive to make it. So uh, you came here to, to deliver a message, right? Yes. Yeah. We're pretty mad at our congressman. Yeah, well, uh, that that I can understand, and is it because he may vote for this thing? Oh, he will, but he's planning to vote for this. He's irresponsible is taking all your credit cards to the max. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's as irresponsible on a government level as it is on a personal level. So it's just like the government taking all your credit cards to the max, and it's going to just hammer small business. When you hammer small business, then you don't have jobs. Exactly. So you got more unemployment. Right. So how is that going to be helping the people that you're supposed to be serving? More taxes after that. You know, you start to wonder, why am I going to take a risk? I'm going to just sort of hunker down. Which we've done. Yeah. Which we've and done. that's why there's unemployment. Yes. I, I just, I just feel as though it's, uh, there's just been such a responsible spending up to now. Okay. If, if this had been done properly before it all happened, just, just for the record, can I get both of your names again? Yeah, yeah Carol Ferguson. Carol Ferguson. Maureen Palazzi. And Maureen Palazzi. Uh, I run a small business. Yeah. And and the same here. Yeah. And uh, this is gonna this, this is gonna put us right out. Right. Um, it doesn't help unemployment to be hammering away small businesses tax after tax after tax. It's the question I've got. I mean, there's really five questions that, that I would have. Probably more, but one. How is taking over one sixth of our economy? Right. Okay. When they can't even manage how many doses? I mean, they promised on the swine flu vaccine. Right. That's a simple thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If they can't manage that, they promised. I mean, it's real easy. Five hundred million dollars in waste in Medicare. Yeah. And they can't. It doesn't take an, a legislative act to clean that up. It right. takes an administrative order right. to clean that up. Right. So if they can't clean that up, how are they going to manage this? My dad was a veteran. Okay. Actually died in a VA hospital. Mm -hmm. They can't. They can't close the gap, and they can't manage economically manage that system. No, they how are they going to manage? I mean, this? I, there, there's a litany. I mean, from the post office to Amtrak to. Yeah. What gives you all this faith that government can do this? You well, got the two things government is doing is Medicare and Medicaid, and both of those things are economically going broke. So the solution is doing more of the same. Well, way? well, yeah. The, the thing is, is, you hit it on top of the head there with faith. Yeah. We we don't need to put our faith in government because. Now, what's so, your name again? Jim Taylor. Jim Taylor. Yeah, great. From, from Chesterfield. You. Probably yeah. live right around the corner. I do.